World Domination, Paradox Gamer and the Mean Team playing Sunday night live on Twitch. Hello. Hello. Alright, Milan's gonna hop in this war with Aragon, so I've got a position for him. They only have a 27 stack, so I'm just gonna take my dated massed infantry and <laughs> try and beat them down. Yeah, they're dated? Yeah, I have like, they're from the Tech 25 rather than 26. But <laughs> they're being used for one thing and one <laughs> thing only, and their uh, their direct fighting capacity is not too relevant to that. I could use like Eastern Archers if I wanted. So you're 26, but you haven't upgraded your troops, I haven't is upgraded my Merc Infantry. <laughs> I don't see a need to do so. My regular no, Infantry no. is current. No, you're not getting Moscow back easily. I'll intercept that. How long has this war been going on? Only a couple of years. I might just stall it and then use the war score from Polotsk to take stuff from Russia. I might just take stuff from Russia too, though. But man, there's like nothing, no war score there. Other than just some occupations. Battles aren't counting because they're not war leader. <laughs> France cannot join. Too bad, so sad. War level 4? Do we please? Four, level four means nothing to me. <laughs> it's interesting because it like sufficiently raises supply limits that I'm not sure that the fort resistance is uh, actually overpowering the what would have otherwise been an attrition problem. I'm raising troops in South America so we can get the Inca war started. Okay. Also, I can get the Inca war started. And Persia is uh, about to be eliminated, which means India is the next target. Bum, ba, da, bum. Relations improve. It's as good a way to spend it as any right now. I was at my admin cap. I didn't want to do nothing with it. Burn the heretics. I completely agree. Oh god. What? Looks like I have to we'll hire join. some new mercs. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, hey, I'm gonna upgrade my mercs. <laughs> that assault didn't work. <laughs> has Burgundy been around all the time, or did they just appear? Oh, I don't know. I don't think they were there before. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, disaster, yeah, that's gonna go away soon. Bum, 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 bum. Diplo? Yeah, that's that's fine, we can take that. Yeah, not giving me any Two deckers. I don't think our navy is gonna play any big role in this game. It's too late for that. Take a bunch of attacks at the end and then just spam them. Ah, oh, they're unassaulting it all too. Ah, oh, you jerks. That's what I get for. I should have let my numbers recover. You actually can assault Fort Fives, but not when you're damaged like that. 
And having a little bit extra morale helps as well, which I don't, because I don't have defensive ideas. Oh, I got the Imperialism. Yeah, it's a great CV, too. But I'm probably going to be using Holy Wars for a little while. Well, so far Timbuktu is yeah they are they have started to uh, convert the first province so that is working lovely absolutely lovely Jenny who are you allied to anyway attack bone but you're in the coalition who's in my coalition. Fulo and Jenna. Oh, and Caracol on you. I guess that's handy. Let's get ready for a uh, Caracol on you war then. These guys up there. This one's want to go to Balugistan. Coin will be done in. Six months. Let's get ready for that war then. Hello, Sherman. How do you, on earth, did you get 31 regiments with your two provinces? <laughs> Jesus. That's some weird shit going on right there. Alright, let's get a coalition war going. Because why not? It's what we're here for, isn't it? Uh, diplomacy. Imperialism. Yeah, let's take it. Dagbon is gonna. Fulu is. Yeah, Fulu is gonna join. And Kara. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Declare the war. Portugal didn't join Aragon, and England did. Start by going in there. Let's go down there. And in Persia, we can now attack these guys. And we got nationalists again. Settler chances, perfect. Yeah, I'm sorry, Baluchistan, but I'm gonna give you even more provinces, so. Hope you're okay with that. Who's in this war then? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, okay. Let's move it on in there. Move these guys up here. Take these guys with you. And then you can go over there. Here. I'm gonna say losses, but it wasn't any losses. Okay, just give me f two seconds. I got uh, all my pop ups here. Get rid of those. Okay. 
Let's beat these guys up. That's the Jinnei army. Split these guys up. Let's take them out. Down here, let's take these guys out. Shriven army is annihilated. Now on to Kara. What allies did you pick for Ethiopia? Well, I'll tell you in a second. Let's go over there, go over there. Stack them. And you go, yeah, you can take out these guys there. All right, take out this one, go there. Go there. Are we okay in here? Okay, we can help them out. Go up there. Back to Persia. How are we doing? Everything is good. Rebels. Where do they come from? Oh, that was these guys. All right, all right. Go back. And be opportunistic and take out the Jolov army. I'm just talking here. Yep. <laughs> and what do we got up here? We got these guys. Move down there. These guys. Move there. And then move down there. I think that's a carpet siege. Go here. Alright. Kiev is modestly difficult to convert. Portugal as a rival. Yeah, because Caraman's an admin republic, they'll probably never recover from this. Or at least uh, not before like late 1700s. Ah, oh, crap, they took stuff off Castile. Aragon did. Well, I guess they've been doing that all game, but... Carpet it so they don't train anything there. That was a stack wire. Alright, let's get busy. I wonder if I could sneak some holdings in uh, the Caribbean and get the CN made. Oh! I could work on English Mexico. That's what I can do. Let's call it. I need military access. Oh, can I core that though? I don't know if I can core that. I don't think I can. I'll check to make sure, but no, because that it's, it's pathing me around Cape Horn. I wonder if the devs put in some extra effective colonial range for having to go around that, or if they didn't go to that level of detail. 
Oh, they'll do anything to stop you. Well, I know, but in that case it would be perfectly reasonable. <laughs> Some of the more treacherous waters you can possibly sail. Probably the most. If ever there's a place that should have it. <laughs> like, if you're gonna put in trade winds, you should probably put that in. Maybe I will convert these two before I uh, core them so that they don't have any problems with them in the Caribbean. <laughs> Trade fleets really should avoid war fleets unless ordered to attack. They shouldn't protect trade by attacking war fleets. <laughs> I just got my like 105 galley army attacked by like, two ships. The game probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> And we got the usual nationalists in Baluchistan. I thought they were doing fine, but I guess not. Alright, let's go military tech 25. Enables royal... Ah, pop up hell. Let's see what's going on here. Siege, siege. Struggle within, struggle without. Love those. It's pretty useful for our purposes, no doubt. Yeah, exactly. Let's go with royal mortars. We got all this sieged out. Let's meet up here. <clears throat> oh yeah, national ideas. Uh, let me see. Religious, obviously, first one. And quantity to fight the Mamlocks. Then economic, because I had so many gold mines that I needed something to counter that. Then exploration to um, to get to South America. And influence, finally. And I haven't decided on what the next one is going to be. Which will be soon. You got any ideas, Phil? No. <laughs> you got enough problems of your own. Yeah, I've got rebels to deal with too. You could just go diplomatic as well. Yeah, might be a pretty good idea. All right, so we've got some sieges done here. Let's meet up there. These guys as well. Uh, we beat up the rebels in Homos for God knows what time. These guys over here actually. And these guys, oh there's a lot of stuff going on here. I'd really like to pick up 13 colonies. Can I sneak access? Okay, what just <laughs> what just happened here? Pause. Somebody's moving from Central Africa to Persia. That was not what I intended. Who's that? That's this guy. No, 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 no. You go there. Yeah. Head on home. Take them out.
Yeah, I guess I didn't mm. lose any units on that. Alright, let's get back to plus to zero stability. Oh, they fled into the desert. Bye bye. Go get them. Do you have as much going on as I have? I have a ton, yeah. <laughs> I'm like multi fronted here. I'm like trying to stop rebels of um, caramans, which is going to be an issue. They are stab spiraled. They will not. They will never core these provinces until they get to positive stability. But they're locked. They, they will also not get to positive stability. That's interesting. Oyo is an African nation, and they decided to come and help me in Persia. Except uh, in, instead of in Africa. Okay. Whatever. Oh, this would just add provinces to the 13 colonies. So I want to add them up here so I can also work off a uh, CN in Canada. Alright, let's start on Kiev. It'll take a bit, but I can convert it. The Jazz is suggesting offensive. Yeah, that might also be, uh, be a good one to pick. You can go defensive and go for assault sprees. It's always fun. I just got coalitioned by Portugal. Isn't the coalition now? A lot of people. I just attacked my coalition. Yeah. One, two, three, four sieges left here. Make that three. Plus one there. All right, so Timbuk two. Uh, you have cores on those. All right, you'll only get those two then. Oh, you can get stuff over here. Like that. Alright, so what are these guys called? Gen A. We got a few cores, nothing major. Mossy, mossy, okay. <clears throat> oh, we got those sunny salads again. Let's deal with them. Still got one seat left. Plus one here. I'm oh, gonna get collision by Castile now as well. I'm feeling you. Are they on you instead? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't do coalitions. It's not my style. 
Alright, so what do we got here? I've used them on occasion. Because you can do some lulzy stuff to stay high with that. Can we release some weird nation here? So this is probably mountain, yeah. And more revolts. Uh, you know, we're just gonna take them one at a time. All right. I think the timers went off. Yeah. Okay. And that was the last one as well. Really. Yep. Time flies when you're having fun. Guess I'll just have to think about how I wanna deal with this situation, but it's not a bad yeah. one. It's just uh, an optimizing what I take type of scenario. In any case, for the YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye.